with breaking news, water worries. Stores in the city and the suburbs are selling out of bottled water. The city of Philadelphia says new information will be released this afternoon on the status of the city's tap water. Also, if or when city residents will be told to switch to bottled water. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to CBS News Philadelphia at noon. There are fears the drinking water in Philadelphia could be contaminated with a toxic chemical because of a spill in Bristol, Bucks County on Friday. Chief three, CBS 3's chief investigative reporter Joe Holden is live in Center City with the very latest. Good afternoon, Joe. Jim, good afternoon. The mayor's office does confirm they will be taking questions at some point in what is a growing crisis over questions of safety of our tap water in the city of Philadelphia. Here is exactly what we know at this point, a leak of between 8,100 and 12,000 gallons of what's known as a latex emulsion product made its way into Otter Creek and then into the Delaware River that happened on Friday, late Friday. The company, Trinzio Autoglass LLC in Bristol, Bucks County, described the chemical as 50% water and 50% latex polymer. The plant manufactures acrylic resins. Now, the chemical plume began making its way down the Delaware River, and here is the problem. Intakes for the city's Baxter water treatment plant draw from the Delaware River several miles downstream from where that leak occurred, and that is the concern. The city on Sunday advised people it would be best not to drink or cook with water from the tap. Officials outlined the potentially affected area based off of who receives treated water from that plant on the Delaware River. That is the big exclamation point. This was a precautionary message from the city that unfortunately led to panic buying across the Delaware Valley. Suppliers of bottled water, supplies of bottled water make that flu from store shelves. Emergency messages to iPhones only exacerbated confusion among people without having the benefit of that city map to refer to. Numerous water companies outside the city issued statements that their supplies were not affected. In attempts to clear up some of the confusion. And then, only adding to the public relations crisis, the city announced last night the system would not be affected by the leak until 11:59 tonight, when its projected water from the Delaware would have had the time to circulate into the system after that leak had occurred. So, its message was now the water remains safe until midnight. So if we show that map that the city has released, this is the most important detail of the entire story. You see the well-defined area revealing parts of the city directly served by that water treatment plant on the Delaware. That is the precaution. At this point, it is believed that at 11.59 tonight, hydraulic, hydro, hydrologically speaking, the water from that plant could have entered the intakes of the Baxter treatment plant along the Delaware. Where then circulating into the tap system here for those parts of the city of Philadelphia defined by that map. We have placed that map and guidance at cbsphiladelphia.com for all of your answers and concerns. We've laid out the information that has been shared with us by the city of Philadelphia. Again, the city expected to take questions. We've had some for them for a while now. They did cancel an unrelated press conference the mayor was supposed to be attending. So we will wait to hear when the city will call the next press conference on this pressing issue. For now, that is the latest. We're live outside Philadelphia Water Department headquarters. This is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it.